Corrupted dungeons on a stock level are one of the most fair places in case of IP and matchmaking for new players to start PvP inside of it. But what makes learning faster and more sweet? Of course, a good build. So, in this video, I just decided to talk about three meta builds which are just useful, easy to use, and beginner friendly to using corrupted dungeons while you're learning PvP. I'm Dr. Oprun and I mainly make PvP videos and please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy. Let's talk about the main topic. Okay guys, one of the best websites that can give you great information on the current metas and uh, players uh, on top 100, the leaderboard and some other stuff is murderledger.com uh, in here we can search our weapons and as you can see first of all we wanna talk about trinity spear build which is one of the spear branch which is infamous for its brawl damage as you can see we have ranked 13 15 50 53 uh, from the top 100 of uh, stalkers corrupted dungeon which are the, the just playing with trinity which can show you that this weapon and this build has a great great potential trinity spear is one of high dps melee weapons which is on top for a long time this weapon has a great brawl potential and a great advantage with auto attack heal passive on spears. When you do PvP with this weapon, almost no skill is needed to win most of the matchups and you only need to time your cleric well, which is real easy when you train a little bit. What spells you should use? Okay, we will have two situations for this weapon and all the weapons. First PvE, then PvP. When you're PvEing with Trinity Spear build like we have here, you should just use your first Q, first W, second passive. On Cleric Robe, you will use first ability, first passive. On Hunter Hood, you will use Retaliate and first passive on soldier boot you will use second ability and second passive you just don't want to use your food it's missed it's not necessary while you're doing pve and do not use your potion because it's not necessary while you are pve the abilities let's discuss the abilities the first key which is a uh, just is usable in PvE situation while you're using Trinity. Uh, will slow the target while you're using your Q. It just poke into your enemy and it will damage your enemy for a little bit. The W which will just damage a cone shape like in front of you with so much it has so much damage uh, with continuous shots and it's great for PvEing and your E, it will create a circle which will increase your attack speed and your movement speed while you're into it. While you're using your R, the Caloric Robe ability, the first skill, you will just, you will be slowed and you will move like this in a direction and you will just regenerate health and energy. You will use Retaliate, I don't know, not often, but it will just uh, reflect damage and your boots to close the gaps between mobs okay let's talk about pvp a little bit while you're using trinity spear build as a pvp weapon you want to use the second q you want to use mainly impaler and second passive cleric robot on the third ability hunter hood and soldier beat on the second ability and you want to eat your food use your potion very wisely let's talk about the second ability on your cues a spirit spear unlike the first ability on your Q, it has no damage itself you should just charge it like this while you're charging it 
when you just want to auto attack on your enemies your auto attacks will have more damage when you have more stacks and your auto attack range will be more and more with your stacks keep this in mind while you have three stacks on your queues if you just want to recharge it because it has some time on you if you don't just press your cues it will just be gone and your effect will be gone if you recharge it again while you have three stacks you will be charged about 14 more energy and you will have lack of energy so you should be careful about charging again again and again on your cues your w is impaler it will slow your enemies and it has a huge amount of damage and it has low cooldown so keep this in mind do not miss it and use it wisely do not panic and use it great on your enemy your e can root your enemy and you will have movement speed buff and you will have auto attack speed buff while you are in it so just do not forget you can use it to close the gaps you can use it to root your enemy and catch him if he's a kite build and etc for most of the time where you're facing a build which has mercenary jacket in it uh, maybe inferno shield in it you can use cleric robe to neglect the damage and their heal and have more damage but if you are facing if you are facing a kite build like chill how like first staff like both bad on like warbo you should use frost shield on your cleric robe which has more effects on them the other the other important change you can just do is against fire staff the kiting fire staff builds which i will introduce in the following builds can be countered with deflecting a spin so keep this in mind if the fire staff build is kiting you use deflecting a spin and if you are facing a primal staff build you should use deflecting spin too and if you are facing a mirror matchup like trinity spear versus trinity spear i can just tell you you can use deflecting spin too but if you're a good player and have higher p you should use impaler Okay, now, now, we want to talk about one of the greatest, one of the greatest weapons of all time in the past patches. It's been the same, it's on the top for about one year. It's one-handed fire staff. As you can see in top 100 in Stalker Crafted Dungeon, you can see rank 9, rank 10, rank 17. 29 40 43 70 78 83 are all playing with fire staff one-handed fire staff and it's great guys let's talk about the build itself we have fire staff we have cleric robe we have hunter hoods we have soldier boots and we have mist color and for sure limer skin for PvE, you want to use second Q, and I would love to say Fire Wave and Flame Blast. They they are both the same. You can use them uh, for PvE, and for PvP and PvE, you want to use the last passive. If you don't have it, do not worry. You can just use Burn, or maybe even the second passive. And this weapon is great, guys. For PvE, you should use the first active ability, first passive, the third active ability on Hunter Hood, second ability on Boots, and second passive. You want to use Mist Color, Limb Herscape Mist Color will reduce your cooldowns. You will have your first W so so fast. You will have high mobility and high damage on your. E. Uh, you can mainly use gigantify potion and you can just bring some healing potions for kiting builds too and the food is as the same as trinity staff build it's pure mist 
snapper it's great guys it will just increase your health and it will give you a lot life is still passive as you just damage your enemy you will get heal and it's great for pvp you have um some situations you should just deal with most of the time most of the time you just want to kite your enemies with your third q just keep this in mind if you don't have your third q you should go with the brawler version of the fire staff it's a little bit weaker than this one but there is no choice if you just want to believe with fire staff you should use just tome of spells as uh, as offhand and use your first q and first w as a brawl version i'm just telling you the brawl version and uh, the third passive if you have the last q use the last q the first w as your main and the last passive use cleric rope use mist color hunter hood and soldier boots and if you're fighting a primal staff or any build which has cultist rope you should use fire wave the fire will will interrupt cultist rope which is so so useful and if you're just facing a kiting build uh kiting build which has no hunter hood you can use fire artillery to just put some pressure on your enemy and wait for the bats and the bats will do the job in corrupted dungeon and no other thing you should just notice this build is a little bit uh, on you on your skill in kiting you should not just engage so hard on your enemy you should not commit so hard one more matchup you should just notice is if you're fighting against a spear while he's using deflecting a spear most of the time it's a hard matchup most of the time it's 50 50 if the player is good he can kill you uh, uh, for sure if the player is using double reflect like inferno shield and hunter hood and maybe triple flick while he has uh, deflecting a spin on a spear you should use uh fire wave and just play so so careful the fire the spear is a uh, hard counter for fire staff especially if that player is so good and uh, even if that player is just playing daybreaker you can be dead so easily so be careful about them so and play so wisely but on w just keep this in mind you should play fire wave <laughs> Hey guys, last but not least, the final weapon and build I want to talk about is Life Curse Staff. Life Curse is one of the uh, weapons from Curses branch. It's really great. Playing with this weapon doesn't require any IP, any skill at all, I can say, and it's really easy to play. As you can see on leaderboard uh, from top 100 on stalker crop the dungeon level you can see rank 32 50 74 and 78 and 82 are all playing with life curse and it shows that this weapon and build has a great great potential what i just want to show you the build i want to show you is this this guy ultra killed 666 uh just killed me once as you can see he killed dream thief he's a um, streamer and youtuber uh, with this build the build itself is this life curse assassin jacket specter hood uh, my choice is knight boots but i think he's uh, just using uh, soldier boots and as cape you want to use mortlock cape and tap root pure mrs tapper and gigapot and healing pot you can just go with both um the idea behind this build is you have inferno shield in pvp you will have Spectre Hood to just reset your cooldown for Inferno Shield. You will have a great, great resistance against all enemies. That's great. Inferno Shield will give you damage resistance for 8 seconds and it will reflect 38% of incoming damage as magical damage. The Spectre Hood will uh, just make you have your Inferno Shield back in a matter of seconds 
uh, while you're using it and and that's great guys you can have 16 seconds of damage resistance that's great guys uh, for PvE you want to use this Q uh, this W and you want to use any of the passives but the furious is for sure better in case of PvP and PvE uh, look at this when you're using this for PvE you just make a pit of cursed tar something like this the enemies which are on the curse star will just take wild curses on them they will get damage over time um, w will just consume from the curse wild stacks and it will have a aoe damage it's great guys for pve and just use it the e will reduce the damage of the people which are inside of it uh, uh, it will stack five times and each stacks reduce their damage five percent for three seconds it's huge guys it cannot be interrupted you cannot be stunned and something like this and you will continue doing it while you're just channeling the cooldown is so high it will purge enemies buffs so be careful about using this you can just purge mercenary jacket you can just purge boots hunter hood inferno shield and etc you want to use Inferno Shield you are engaging when you are engaging with the enemy uh, for uh, PvE you want to use the first R for sure Night Boots you can just use it this, use the second or third one and um, the food is just for PvP and the potion is just for PvP uh, the idea behind this build for PvP situation is use Wild Curse most of the time Grudge and third passive inferno shield specter hood a third ability first passive and night boot i i mostly use night boots and the idea is just spam your q on the enemy and be careful about their hunter hood because grudge has a huge amount of damage if the guy is just uh, deflecting it you will take a huge amount of damage so be careful about the grudge uh, use grudge the uh, your toe tax will have a bonus amount of damage based on how much you're keeping uh, yourself from a toe attacking as you can see if you are just using instantly your uh, auto attacks after using your w on yourself you will do uh, 48 more damage if you uh, just hold your uh, auto attacks for uh, 0.5 seconds you will do 60 and uh, when the time goes on after two seconds your damage will be 358 that's great because the damage on grudge is so high but be, be careful about your hunter hood or inferno shield and you want to use wild curse for sure you want to purge enemies most important buff like you on dual swords maybe it's uh their mercenary jacket on bows maybe it's mercenary jacket on fire staff uh builds which are just kiting you maybe it's cleric rope and uh something like this do not forget to purge it maybe i don't know in uh a player which is just using stalker jacket it's stalker jacket or sometimes even hunter hood you want to just purge your hunter hood and use your grudge on them and kill them very fast the pure Mr. snapper is great 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 all the pieces i just uh, introduced are just using purest snapper this um food is broken somehow uh the taproot increases your health and Marslot cape will save you so so many time so do not hesitate to use it in your build uh, but the cooldown is so high so i just made some mistakes in some fights you should just wait so long to just get it back three minutes and ten seconds the cooldown is so high so be careful about it and that's it guys i hope you enjoy watching this video uh i i just want to make more and more guides like this in the future please please if you liked like this video subscribe to my channel and tell me what guides in watch directions what topics do you need more so i can just provide them uh thank you for guys for watching i hope you enjoy have a great day good luck